Hello everyone and welcome back to another diecast review. Today we got Wave 11 that finally came in. I'm still missing one from Wave 10 and Wave 9. Now, the one from Wave 9 I would like, uh, it's the truck, the 98 truck, but I mean, I'm not really looking for it. But if I happen to see it, I'll pick it up. Now the one in Wave 10 would be the throwback for Joey Logano. That one I am wanting. I had thought about purchasing it online. It'd be like 10 bucks more, but it's not just for one race. It's also for my collection. But at the same time, I'm still kind of waiting, hoping that we get a uh, setback and restock at Walmart and then urge somewhere. And then finally picking it up for five bucks instead of like 15 or 10. So, you know, is what it is. But we do have Wave 11 here now. So this is not a bad wave. There's a couple exclusives in here. Uh, of course, there's a couple in the Gold Series. I'm pretty sure the Matt Snyder is an exclusive, along with, um, well, the throwbacks for Clint Boyer and Daniel Suarez. I don't know if the Ryan Blaney one is uh, in the Gold Series or not, but I do know the rest are. So, yeah, some, you know, pretty decent ones in here. Not bad, not bad at all. But, again, going to use them for the races. But, you know what? It's whatever. Now I'm like... In the hole, I owe, like, a lot now, because I didn't have money to pay for this, but I got it anyway. So, yay, debt. Fantastic. Anyway, got a Wave 11 here. Going to review it. Hopefully, there's not a lot of paint chips and stuff. I do see one on the 24, but we will get into that later on, of course. And, one more announcement. Um, I'm not going to open the Matt Snyder. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to want it. I don't want it. So... Uh, it's going to be returned. So, yeah, take this boy out right here, and that's going to be it. I will review the rest, but not the Matt Snyder. So, the first one is Chase Elliott's uh, number nine. What was that, Dunited? Yeah, Dunited, Diecast, or Paint Scheme. But, uh, I'm just going to say one thing real quick. If uh, people, if anyone didn't see uh, the Daytona 500, you didn't see Ryan Newman's crash, um, he was put in the hospital for a few days, but he is okay. He was released. So, you know, he's fine. Everything's good, but I figured that was pretty important. So I figured I'll go ahead and tell you if you did not know already. Anyway, Chase Elliott's 2019, uh, number nine, do not did. Not bad, but you know, we'll get our opinions here in a minute. So on the back here, of course, we just got the, um, wave, uh, got all of it except for the um, liquid color, which would, have, which would have been the, uh, William Byron throwback. So, other than that, uh, did actually get the whole wave, finally, but, again, the only, like, the past two waves, I've only missed, like, one or two, but we got the full wave this time. So, of course, here's the die cast out of the package, and here is the magnet. I got number nine, Chase Elliott, Mountain Dew, right there, you got the United States, uh, with just some, I don't know, just textures on it, just kind of detailed out there then just a magnet nothing special then of course you have the die cast now paint scheme wise i don't think it looks that bad it's i don't know it's a little weird but i don't know I, i'm kind of liking it now of course this looks like his uh just his normal uh 2019 where it was just a green and it had the black stripes with the silver nine and the black nine but of course it's um a little updated got the do knighted all over it but anyway Let's take a closer look right here on the hood. You got the Mountain Dew and you got the United States behind it with all that, um, again, just kind of design on there, which is pretty cool. I mean, I like that, but it's a little, I feel like it's a little messy at the same time, but also like it's not bad, which my state is covered. So that's kind of sad. Um, number nine, Mountain Dew right there on the roof on the deck lid. We got a paint chip right here. Uh, auto Napa auto parts got the, uh, Racing stripes, you can see where the um kinda kinda connects right there. That is from the um just the decal. Got a little bit of misplacement here, right there on the post with uh just a decal being a little bit extra. And then on the back here, you got Mountain Dew, Valvoline number nine, ZL1 Camaro, and then you got the uh updated Camaro um tail lights there. So yeah, not bad. Looks like it got a little bit of a uh, decal issue right there but not not too terrible got the united states right there napa hooters number nine i got a winter sticker that was from talladega i believe uh, kelly blue book 
Chase Elliott, you got a little outline on the sticker and the, uh, the flag there. Just a different shade of green. I don't like that, but, you know, oh well. Uh, very few contingencies. And I've got some more of the that um, design there as well. On the fronts, uh, it's, a little, it's, it's okay. A little bit uh, drooped down right here on the, the headlight. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. I think this is pushed up just a wee bit, and that was a little off. But the grill looks okay, and this side of the car looks okay as well. Other than that, of course. Uh, those are always a little shifted back. But other than that, not bad. So Lionel didn't do a terrible, uh, terrible job on having this die cast uh, decal, which is surprising. So yeah, got lucky on that one. I've seen quite a few messed up die casts in my time. Luckily, this was not one of them. Next up, we have Ryan Blaney's 2019 throwback, which was to Michael Waltrip's Pennzoil car from 1991 to 1995. Now, just you know, simple paint scheme, all yellow. Uh, pretty cool throwback to uh, Michael Waltrip, you know, good old, good old Michael. But yeah, um, I don't know if I want to keep this in my collection, uh, like actually, like because you know after the races I kind of filter out everything, and then kind of start over. So I don't, I don't know if I want to keep this one. Uh, I'll debate on it, but as of right now, I'm thinking no. But who knows? All right, there's a diecast out of the package, and then right here. Of course, on the little magnet, I think that's, oh, okay, I don't know if that's a little crooked, but it's pretty close to that uh, beginning of the hood there, so, I don't know, I don't know if that's crooked or not, it's slanted for sure, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but, got Ryan Blaney, and pins oil right there, just a hood, nothing special, if this was a Toyota, have a little Toyota logo there, but it's not, it is a Ford, so there's obviously nothing there, anyway, uh, pretty nice paint scheme, oh, it's not all yellow, we got a little bit of design here, uh, nothing special, but taking a look at it, let's look at the front first. Um, decals, decals wise, doesn't look too bad. I don't like the little black lines underneath, uh, whatever that is, on the front. The, uh, just not not a fan of that. If that was plain, that'd be okay. A uh, little bit of mess up on the um, grill, right there on the Mustang grill. Not much, but that's that's alright, not bad. So, we'll, we'll give it to Lionel for that one. I'm shaking really bad and I don't know why. Pins oil right here on the hood. They got 12 right here on the roof with nothing behind it. All kinds of contingencies. I'm not going to take the time to read that because I am on a little bit of a um, uh, kind of rushed schedule right now. Menards, is that is that back supposed to look like that? I don't know. I want to say so, but I I don't know. But I'm just I'm going to, I'm going to give it to him and say that it that it is supposed to look like that. You got the Ford and 12 right there. Menards Dex uh, Dex Imaging, Pins oil. Uh, Knopf, still don't know if, or Nauf, Nauf, I think it's Nauf, still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Richmond, 12, Ryan Blaney, uh, got the NASCAR race car there. Goodyear, of course, got some painted rims, got the, uh, yellow there. Let's see how sloppy that is. And it's a little, it's a little sloppy. Not, not terrible, but it's, it's a little messy around the edges. But, yeah, again, not a bad decaling job by Lionel. So hopefully we can keep this up. Next up, we have Clint Boyer's number 14 throwback. This one, for sure, is being uh, kept in my collection along with the Daniel Suarez. Now, if it was um, just Daniel Suarez uh, in general, you know, just that throwback and not with these other two, I would get rid of it because I, I don't like that one. Yeah, it's cool, but, like, just, like, the story behind it is cool and all. But, I don't know, just I'm not... Not a fan of it. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get a good look at this die cast. Once again, taking a look at the hood, we have Clint Boyer, 14, and Rush Truck Centers. Nothing else. That is it. But, uh, here's the actual die cast. Now, this was a throwback to Tony Stewart, if that was not obvious. But, this is Tony Stewart's 2011 championship. This was uh, his last championship out of three. So... Yeah, this one, pretty cool. And I really like it because it's an accurate number. Like with uh, Al Marola's, we had 10. And with Suarez, we had 41. But with this one, we have 14, which is, you know, his actual, you know, number. Um, the other ones weren't, wasn't, uh, that was not um, 14. I think, those, I think those were the 20s, was the uh, Al Marola and the Suarez. But I don't, 
I, I don't know why I can't think right now, but yeah, this one was 14. This one was uh, accurate. Only thing that's not really accurate is, of course, the Rush Truck Centers and, you know, some other sponsors or contingencies as well. But, I mean, yeah, this is actually really awesome. I want to say this is like my favorite one. I don't know yet. Again, it's tied with Almirola, but this one is actually really, really awesome. So, taking a look at it, we have Rush uh, Truck Centers. Again, let's look at the front here. Looks like they did a pretty good job on the front right there. But, of course, we have Ruck, uh, Ruck, what? Rush Truck Centers. Ford, 14, Rush Truck Centers again. Got the uh, Hall of Fame, Class of 2020, Tony Stewart. So, uh, Rush Trucks, uh, Truck Centers there. Mobile One, Ford, and um, 14 right there. Of course, we've got the taillights. Uh, Rush Truck Centers, Haas, Mobile One, Mobile One again. Toco, that was another... Uh, sponsor that he was well sponsored by um last year so uh jd got the in memory of jd gives right there one cure uh exalta got a couple i do remember seeing that yellow one i just i don't remember what it is now i mean i got the paint scheme over there but i'm not gonna go check but i like I, i've seen it before i know what it is i just can't read it right now or i can't remember it 14 got the little design right there pretty cool uh mechanics wear 3m lincoln welders NASCAR race car, Clinton Boyer, Ford Mobile One, I want to say it's Jimmy John's, Savvy, Rush Truck Centers, and Blue Death, I think. I think that's that there. But, yeah, pretty nice die cast. Uh, really good throwback. I like how, um, of course, they did the throwback to Stewart. Really, really awesome team owner. You know, just really, really nice. So, again, really cool. This is one to definitely keep and or to get if you happen to see it. Because, again, I mean, it is a exclusive along with a good paint scheme. Kyle Busch's 2019 throwback. Um, I wasn't going to get this originally, but then when I saw it was a throwback, I'm like, well, poop. Now i got to get it and use it for the series. But this was a throwback to a guy I wasn't really familiar with hearing, uh, which is Bobby Hillen. That was uh, the throwback uh, that Kyle Busch did. So... I, I don't know. I haven't really heard of him. I've heard like I've heard of the name, but I don't really know Bobby. But yeah, that's who th uh, Kyle Busch threw back to. And of course, with that being a throwback, and me hosting a throwback race here soon, uh, within later within the year, have to get it. So with that being said, we have another hood to take a look at. Um, Kyle Busch 18 Snickers, and we have the Toyota logo right there, which is a little odd. Then we do I actually don't have the. Uh, on the back, the uh, square with the Toyota logo in it, but it's on the front. So that's kind of cool. Like I like that. I don't think I've really seen much of that on anything, but I don't know. I do like it. That's it looks pretty good. But uh, here's the diecast right here. Uh, okay, no, no wonder stickers. I was about to be like, ooh, I forgot to check check on those. Uh, I got Snickers brand there. Uh, let's, okay, let's, let's take a look. Take a look at that. Seems to be okay. Got a little um, mess up right there on the M. But other than that, doesn't look too bad. 18 right there on the roof. Snickers on the deck lid. Snickers on the back with Toyota, Camry, uh, XSE, and the 18. 18 is a little wrinkled. That's just some decal errors. Um, Ream, Snickers, Interstate Batteries, Cessna, Mac Tools, uh, Freightliner, Mobile One, Lincoln Welders. Got a couple more. Got a lot on the B post there. Uh, JD, Gibbs, Toyota, a couple others a little hard to, hard to read there. We got Mechanics Square 3M, K&N, Lincoln, uh, Lincoln, what? Lincoln Welders, NASCAR Race Car, and Kyle Busch. A little bit of more uh, decal wrinkling right there, but not not much. Uh, it is It does kind of throw off the paint scheme a little bit though, but oh well. Not, not too terrible, so I'm not really going to complain. We haven't seen anything terrible from Lionel just yet. So let's keep your fingers crossed and hope it stays that way. Next up we have Paul Menard's number 21 Motocraft throwback from 2019. Now this one's actually really, really awesome. I like the paint scheme and I like what it's throwing back to, which was a throwback to the Wood Brothers and a like a tribute to Glenn Wood. So it was like a throwback to just like kind of the Wood Brothers in general and Glenn Wood. Uh, there is a uh, Glenwood on the door, the left uh, driver's side door. 
above the 21. I don't know if it's on the other side, but I know it's on the left side. I see it right there. Now, at Martinsville, we got to witness a, uh, in 2019, we got to witness a um, Glenwood car kind of drive around, like do a lap or two around the track. I think it was just a lap, but, um, or like half lap, something like that. But we got to see it, and uh, it was on the vlog I did. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, got to experience that as well with um, Brad Kozlowski winning that race. Anyway, here's Paul Menard's 21 Motocraft throwback. Again, really nice paint scheme. I really hope the Lionel, like, decency of the decals keep going. Because, again, this is a great paint scheme. Really like it. Do you guys realize how much I ramble on? Like, I forget what I'm saying, and then I just repeat myself. So, if um, I just, like, repeat what I'm saying, be like, well, Wrangler forgot what he was going to say, so he's just going to repeat himself. That literally happens, like, every time. Anyway, Motocraft. Uh, Paul Menard almost said Ryan Blaney. I don't know why. Uh, 21. Got a little, got a, like, a bubble on the, um, on the decal there. It's a little interesting. Uh, got a little bit of a... Decal errors on the hood here with the pins. Got a little red on the silver. Should not happen. I've never seen like a decal error on a hood. I don't think. From what I know of. Was that more? Okay, it just looks like glue. Now these are like my handprints because it's... I'm a little warm and it's a little cold out here. So, yeah. Uh, science people. That's what happens. Anyway. I'm just I, like, look at this. I really like that paint scheme. It just, it looks... Really cool. I don't own a Ford Mustang. Uh, it's got that stripe that kind of like goes from the front to the back and then it kind of goes up again. I really like that. It reminds me of like um, an airflow of some sort. So I do really like that. Does That does look really, really awesome. Uh, almost said 21. What? Two Fords are here. Ford there, Ford there. Motocraft and Motocraft are there as well. 21 Ford Motocraft. Um, I think it just says the Wood Brothers. Uh, yeah, the Wood Brothers, 21, got an axe behind there. Got a little paint chip on the, uh, spoiler here. Not, not, not bad, but it's, it's a little bit. Nothing a marker can't fix. And they got one over here on, as well. But, again, not bad. Fordparts.com, um, 21. That's a little outline, uh, outlined in red. Uh, didn't match very well. Ford, right there. Quick Lane, uh, Omnicraft, uh, Lincoln Welders, Snap-on, I think. Um, Motocraft, Quick Lane. Menards, Glenn Wood, so it is on both sides. Um, Ford, I don't know what those two, they're on the bottom. Paul Menard there. Uh, Mechanics Wear, 3M Lincoln Welders, and NASCAR Race Car. And then you got the Goodyear there. Now for the front, it's not too terrible, but it is a little off right there on the splitter and a little bit on the grill. But again, other than that, we got the painted wheels as well. So really nice paint scheme. I want to say this is like my favorite looking throwbacks not just like the throwback itself um one definitely one of the Stuart Haas was one of my favorite throwbacks but like paint scheme wise I want to say it's this one I don't know why but I really really like this one a whole lot better than I do uh, the 41 or the 10 but for like why it was a throwback I like the 14 or the 10 a little bit better so yeah paint scheme fantastic throwback really good as well this one has a fading error, but it was produced like this in 124 and 164 scale. Uh, this is not an exclusive. It is in the Gold Series from what I remember. But this is a William Byron's throwback. It's a little bright, but uh, it is a Hendrick throwback to uh, Days of Thunder. I have not seen it. I've never really seen any of it. So this paint scheme to me doesn't really mean what it means to others. Compared to my view and their view. Because again, haven't really watched this uh, at all. Once, none. But a lot, I know a lot of people have. And some people it's childhood. Some people it's just, you know, cool. That they, they, they're throwing back to it. But for me, it's just another throwback. No, it's not a bad throwback. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. It just doesn't really have a lot of meaning to me. So, uh, city right here on the Chevy Bowtie. William Byron. Uh, 24 and Hendrick Auto Guard. Nothing on the back. Just that, but the paint chip I was talking about earlier is just right there. Or two of them, actually. Three of them uh, right there on the door uh, around the window net. But I mean, it's still not a bad paint scheme. I really like it. It looks really cool. But just for me, I never really seen it. Never really cared for it. 
but that's just me. You got City on the bow tie. Uh, Hendrick Auto Guard right there. 24, HendrickAutoGuard.com. Hendrick uh, Auto Guard. I thought I was going to say Motorsports. Uh, Auto Guard right there. Again, we've got the City with the Chevy bow tie. And then 24, it's a little, little thick on the yellow. Uh, Valvoline, ZL1, and Camaro. Got the updated uh, tail lights. Got a little screwed up tail light up here. Glad that's on the back. Um, I was out to Liberty University City, Valvoline, or Valvoline, however. I haven't said that in a while, but I say Valvoline, so get over it. Um, Hendrick Auto Guard, Hertz, 24. Uh, God, we got a lot of like, I don't know, kind of like, um, just the decals. Oh, the decals are terrible. I'm glad this didn't mean anything to me. Oh my geez. That's, that's bad. That's a little, little, little messy, you know, you, you know, uh, Real, I, I think that's the fade the issue because it was like just like polka dots or just like dots in general but yeah that's that's really bad um nascar race car mechanics wear and 3m i'm just glad it's not really that noticeable until you really look at it and of course on the front uh yeah a little messed up on the headlights uh, the grill and these two little two parts here don't seem that bad off they're a little off but not really that much but yeah this uh this one quality it's a little bad, a little not not good, but paint scheme is okay. Again, the throwback doesn't really mean anything to me, but for a paint scheme, it's not bad. These dogs are going to kill me. Daniel Suarez is number 41, Haas throwback uh, to Tony Stewart, of course. This was his 2005 championship, so yeah, we got all three throwbacks um, in waves. This freaking dog, I'm going to kill it, I swear to God. Well, not really, of course, but all I do is just bark and bark and bark and bark. That's all I do. All day long, just sit here and bark. Anyway, taking a look at the hood. Daniel Suarez, 41 and Haas, is a little zoomed in, but we'll, we'll be okay. Um, yeah, so here's the paint scheme. I was going to make um, either this or the Clint Boyer one, and then I realized, hey, they might do this in the Authentics, so I have like half a red painted Ford because <laughs> I was going to do a Clint Boyer throwback custom like I did with the uh, number 10 Alamorola but I was like yeah you know okay I don't I don't think that's how it's supposed to be it may be I don't know anyway uh, back to the die cast here in the front not bad got a little bit of a uh, something going on there with the orange but other than that doesn't look too bad at all Ford Haas right there um 41 and Haas again. Uh, NASCAR Hall of Fame. Uh, class of 2020. That was a little weird. Class of 2020, Tony Stewart. They got the back here. Got a little paint chip on uh, near the taillights there. 41, Ford, and Mobile One. Um, got Family Mobile. Was that Walmart Family Mobile? I think. Haas. Haas again. It's just a different way they put it. Haas is a little, a little crooked. This is, yeah, that was a little crooked. JD, Aris, uh, let's see how it's down there. I don't really see anything much I can read. Ford Mobile One, Aris, Coca Cola, and I don't know that one in the middle. Uh, 41, Mechanics Wear, 3M, I almost said 3AM. 3M, Lincoln Welders, NASCAR Race Car, Dan Suarez, a little crooked. Uh, Goodyear got a little, little fold in the decal there. Not bad though, not terrible, but it is a little noticeable once you look at it. But yeah, again, it's really cool to have the, uh, all three championships in the throwback for um, Stuart Haas and for Tony Stewart. Just really, really cool. I'm glad they were able to do that. This one everybody loved, and I did not love, but I grew to love. So, <laughs> Daryl Wallace Jr. or Bubba Wallace Jr., I just call him Bubba. This is his uh, Warthog U.S. Air Force paint scheme. I just, it's... It's cool. I like it. I didn't before. I'm like, eh, I don't know. Because the teeth right here was kind of like an eh, you know. Not really my type of deal. But as time came on, just kind of grew on me. 43, U.S. Air Force Bubba, and the little teeth marks right here. Or not the marks, but the uh, the um, the teeth. I don't know, d design, I guess. But, yeah, I don't, I don't like this look, but I like this look. You know what I mean? Like, with, like taking this out, I don't, I like it. Now, like this, cool. Like this, eh, not really. Cool, not really. But, it's still, it's still an awesome paint scheme, and I'll tell you why. It's because of the rivets. 
on a diecast or just anything, I love rivets. It gives it a more real look. And this thing is covered in those rivets, and I love it. So U.S. Air Force right here. Uh, this is going to run at Daytona uh, in my stop motion series. Got the teeth all the way around here on the front, wrapped around. Got the Orange 43. Now, I don't know how I feel about the Orange 43. just feels a little out of place for me. I don't know if it makes the car or breaks the car, but, like, I don't know. It just, I, I can't see it white, but, I mean, like, it's here as well. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. But uh, nothing on the deck lid here. Uh, Aim High, Camaro, McDonald's, Alsco, I believe. Got the new uh, tail lights, ZL1 and 43. U.S. Air Force, uh, TI Impact, something trans transportation impact i think uh u.s air force u.s air force uh mac aftershocks worldwide technology got a whole bunch of stuff here um club Wyndham, pioneer bubba wallace 43 i think that's a little shifted downward yeah it's a little shifted uh should be up a little bit more maybe a little back just a tad bit but got the start of the teeth and of course it wraps back around to the front now, all these rivets, I love all these rivets. I think that's why I liked it. But, like, I don't know. Like, it just, I didn't like it at first. I'm like, ooh, I really don't like that. And then, over time, I started liking it. Now, I still don't like the front bit, but, like, right here and back, I love. This, again, not so much. But, anyway. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching this podcast review. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.